Nut carcinoma is one of the most aggressive solid tumors. Um, it's actually largely diagnosed in adolescent and young adults uh, and has a median overall survival of 6.7 months. So much more aggressive than even our usual thoracic uh, squamous cell cancers. I think a few key points that make it distinct. Uh, one is that it is a molecular diagnosis, which means that there is a specific fusion oncoprotein that drives the pathophysiology of this cancer. Number two is that it's a fairly recent discovery. It was discovered within our group in 2004. And I think thirdly, it's very under-recognized and appreciated as a thoracic malignancy. Um, I think this really contributes to uh, the less understanding of this cancer compared to other fusion oncogene-driven non-small cell lung cancers, such as ROS1 or RET. We believe that the incidence of this cancer is actually similar to those less common fusion oncogenes, but because it's a fusion that doesn't easily get picked up on next generation sequencing. And because these individuals often present as a poorly differentiated or squamous cancer, the appropriate next generation sequencing test is not ordered. Um, and then because it's aggressive, I think that that also contributes to um, the need to quickly identify and find this cancer.